All right, here we go. PTL versus Frosty, Purple Toon Link, Rustman, I should say. Hold the bomb out. Rusty knows that that uh, bucket is going to be one of the keys to victory in this matchup. He does have to be careful not to overuse it, too, because it is punishable by Toon Link. Going to be a very uh, deliberate, very careful advancing game, I think, because both characters kind of like to wall people out. Damon Watch is probably going to be trying to find his way into that sweet spot between the edges of the projectiles and the edges of Toon Link's sword here, but... Ooh, Bomb went straight back up. Caught him out of the air. No follow-up lands, though. PTL really just running away with the percentage here. Falling back. Bucket is coming out now, though, as a option to move forward in the neutral, which is exactly what Game & Watch needs right now. Frosty just trying to find a way in. PTL's got the stage now. This is where he likes to find a lot of his stocks. Woo! Bucket facing the wrong... Oh, he got the down... That's going to be the stock. Even at 131, he pulls it back around and gets that down throw. Berries. Suddenly, Frosty finds himself in the lead, but not for long. Forward air lands, and it's right back to a two-stock game. Even percentages. Frosty now taking a, trying a little, being a little slower about finding his way in. Navigating around these projectiles. Trying to set up that bomb, but PTL just floating back whenever he can. And it's difficult to run this man out of stage presence, or stage distance. Wow, the, the bounce in that boomerang was kind of nonsense, actually. Throwing the boomerang out. Both players, man, just like, just slow, deliberate percentage racking here. Again, though, PTL starting to run away with the percentage game. These projectiles, they don't mess around. Up air, we'll catch that stock. That's where Link is good. That's where Tim Link's going to get you, man. Coming back to stage, that's where he's going to find that stock. Bomb wasn't quite able to catch it. Boomerang slips under it, too. Or bucket, rather. Frosty really just trying to look for any hit he can get up air. Serving that purpose. But just not able to stay in with it. PTL just doing a great job of reestablishing distance. And not getting caught up. Percentages are looking even now, but only one stock, or a stock advantage for PTL. Frosty definitely playing careful there. Oh, not careful enough for that forward air. Just as I start to say it. Clean up that stock. Rustman just feels like a living wall right now. Game Watch is having a little bit of trouble getting in on him. <laughs> He's, it's hard to come from the front because he's got so many projectiles he can throw out and you can't always bucket. He's hard to approach. You can't come in from the top. Your down air is super punishable by that uh, up smash or up air or bomb up throw. You can't come from below him because this isn't an episode of Naruto. There's something going on over there. Ren goes out. Frosty finding his way in a lot easier this game. Maybe he's found the secret to getting around. Got PT off stage now. Finally, these trades up B, providing excellent armor against PTL's uh, landing options here. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay, I'll grab it. Um, 
Yeah. All right, let's see. ETL starting to reestablish this uh, wall here. Russ, man, really starting to find his way back into this game, but he needs to clean up the stock to get it even. Not any rush to do it, though. He's content to wall, wait for an opportunity. ETL juggling some bombs here. Rossi looking for a ledge option, can't quite find it. Keeping him in the disadvantage, though. All right, Rustman's got a little distance to work with here. Let's see if he can turn that into the stock. Not quite. That down air. Every time he goes to that down air, he's getting punished by that upbeat. Rossi has that on lock. Rossi, again, starting to find his way through the wall. Just over the up smash there. Finds a big hit now. It's over. Woo! Well, not over, but that stock's over is what I mean to say. On to the last stock now, Frosty. Okay, back down to two stocks, so. Not ahead, not ahead by quite as much here, but hang it in there. BTL, again, just not, not trying to rush his way through this. He knows the keys to victory for him are lying. Stay in patience, even when the uh, game's against him. Finds a grab on the ledge, got him off stage now. Even watch this hard to ledge trap, though. Rossi just playing the wall right back, trying to keep uh, PTL. He's just hovering, like I was saying in that first game, hovering to that space between the projectile tips and the sword. This is uh, game two. Rossi's up. He's, the first game, he was having a hard time getting through Rustman's wall, but now he's just managing to hover in that range between the projectiles and the sword. Dude, Frosty's on fire tonight. Yeah, he's actually, he's, he's looking, uh, he's definitely looking improved. That down smash, yeah. yeah dude, that's... That has to be one of the most devastating burial games, in my opinion, because it, the follow-up is just so Oh, the, the follow-up leaves you no hope. <laughs> F-Smash just, you just uh, die. You get torched. Oh, oh he killed the bomb. Oh, magnet hands. He found the down smash on the other side of it, but didn't I thought bury him. Had magnet hands. Yeah, PTL, it feels like he can, like, bring his hand. Oh, that's there it, it is. That's it. Down smash buried to the F-Smash, just like you were talking about. You know, you know when you get, you get buried like that. There's no there's illusion no, in your head. You're dude, like, okay, like, that's the stock. Dude, I've tried. I've tried so hard so many times. It's like, dude. But it's you can't like, mash I out. I, I, dude, I know you can't mash out, but it's like almost a I don't. Yeah, it's I, like I a full try. second you're in there. I want to try. Yeah. Because if I. Yeah, dude, he. kept burying me. No. Oh, I ran snake. And he kept burying me. That's what I was saying. Like, like you want to mash out of it? But you can't. But if you just accept it, then it's like deflating. Yeah, I destroyed him. <laughs> All right, game three. I want, I, that happened on stream, right? Oh, yeah, it did. It absolutely I'm a supporter. did. I really had no idea. Really? I was like, I charged something. I don't know the key I had. Okay. Double down air there, if I saw that right. <clears throat> Frosty again, like he's, I love, I love what he's doing here. He's just, again, like I, I think I told you in, a, in one of the, uh, one of the analysis things too, like this is where you want to be with Toon Link, is you want to be like at just outside of that, the edge of his projectile range where you can threaten him for throwing something out. Yeah. But, or inside that range rather, but outside of the sword. Because once you're there, like you, you can force him to pull a bad option and punish it. Right. But PTL is uh I'm up. Ooh. Good luck, my man. The uh PTL uh really holding the wall down out here. Now he's starting to look for that forward air. He's looking for the kill. Bomb coverage is landing. He's, he's seen a lot more swordplay come out now. He wants something. 
He wants a big hit. It is giving Frosty, it seems like, though, a way in sometimes. He's starting to get a little bit more percentage racked up. Not by much. Oh, almost got the uh, down smash out of that. Catches the landing. That'll put PTL a stock. Ooh, bomb charges a little bit of the bucket there. I didn't see how much, but... That is an interesting thing in this matchup. You put enough uh, bombs out, he can charge it. Bounce him away. Get the uppie off stage. Can he recover from that? Not if a bomb gets him. Frosty put on an excellent ledge guard. Now he's the one finding himself off stage. And PTL pulling an excellent ledge guard right back. Look at this. Oh, that's two, right? We're one away from a bucket? Well, this man is just impossible to approach sometimes. I don't know how... I, I can't see how the game watch supposed to get in. Very not quite going to be long enough for the F-Smash there. That's okay. PTL. He's looking for that big hit now. He wants his stock cleaned up. There's the bucket. Ooh, a little early on it. Not going to catch anything. Oh, Bucket's after the boomerang, chases that thing down, says, okay, you're mine now. Go get him. That gets him in, finds the turtle. He's got the stage now. Bomb the down air. PTL almost pulls a kill off of that, but he does pull the kill off of challenging the down air with an up air of his own. Once again, he finds himself stock up. This seems to have been the pattern all three games. Relatively even until one person finds one big punish. It's a stock up on the two to one spread. So we're going to do some work here. Frosty keeping him in the air with the up air. Catches the down smash. Doesn't uh, bury him, but sends him way off stage. Catches the up smash on the roll. Finds the stock. He's found himself back way back into this game. Boomerang. Up air, really. Up air and down smash. Seen a lot more play these last few stocks, and it's working. Or at least I thought it was, but now that I'm looking at it, he's not got a whole lot of percentage racked up. But he's fighting his way in. Bomb. Oh, both of the bottom in PTL's hands, too. He's, PTL's looking for that forward smash. He knows this game is evening up fast. We are officially at the point where it could go either way. Back throw doesn't quite kill. He's going to come back. Will PTL find the kill on the ledge? He's looking for the up air. He gets it. That'll be the game. Frosty, though, almost bringing it back there. 